Hey YouTube, it's motorbike time. I've been waiting for this day for so long. Anyone who's following my journey into the world of two wheels will know that, yeah, back in, when was it? 23rd of December, I passed my theory test. And obviously with COVID and everything that's happened in the world, I've been waiting some time for training centers to reopen and everything. So I can finally pass my license and get riding on two wheels. As you can see, the spring weather has arrived in the UK. It's beautiful. Every time I go out running or cycling or anything, all I can see and hear are motorbikes. And I'm really, really looking forward to doing this CBT today, my compulsory basic training with Bennett's as part of Ride Free. The weather couldn't be more perfect. As I'm not sure when this video is gonna come out, I'm just gonna pretext it by saying that this is already quite a crazy weekend because yesterday was round one of the Brit Car Endurance Championship and Jack Fabi, my teammate and I, basically came away with an absolutely mega result. We got first and second place in the first two races of the season with the Prague out R1. So I'm already buzzing today, to be honest. In fact, I think my ears still are ringing. Maybe that is the buzzing in my head, but yeah, I'm a bit tired today because I'm up early again and it's been two early starts for Silverstone, but I mean, check it out guys. It doesn't get any better than this. So I've got all my kit ready. I've got my uh, brand new Arai Rapid helmet. I absolutely love the look of this. It's kind of retro. Got all my RST kit, got everything in my rucksack to uh, do a bit of vlogging today. Got my leather jacket and yeah, let's go. I just passed my CBT. That is a great feeling. I think I've ridden a motorbike once when I was about 10 years old on a PGL, but that's the only time I've ridden on a bike with gears. And it's such a great feeling. I mean, obviously trying to get used to the clutch and the brakes and the gears and how it all works. It's quite a lot when you're trying to do it all and complete various maneuvers and things, but I really, really enjoyed that especially once we actually started riding out on the road and towards the end of the test we went on some country roads too. It's a beautiful sunny day as you can see behind me and just what a great feeling getting out and riding. Um, Chris, the guy who was our instructor, was really, really good. I learned a lot of really important things which obviously you need to know for being safe on a motorbike, but that was just mega. I really, really enjoyed riding today. I think we went out for a good few hours and uh, yeah, I just want to get on my own bike now and get riding properly. Well, I've got to do modules one and two. Massive thanks to Bennett's for, yeah, for getting me on the ride free course. I had a really good coach, a guy called Chris, who, um, yeah, was fantastic. There was a guy on the course as well who was learning on a moped. It was literally his first time driving or riding on the road or anything. So the three of us went out together as well once we'd done all the basic stuff in the car park and did some of the maneuvers on the road and just generally enjoy riding around and getting the hang of things. And then, yeah, we went out for like the last sort of 40 minutes or so, had a blast around some country roads and that was really, really fun. Even just on a 125 bike, it's such a different experience to driving a car. I mean, obviously, and that's really what I wanted to get that feeling for you know to me that's that's the really exciting thing about riding a bike it's something that feels completely different and the way you just kind of think it into a corner it's yeah it's a great feeling the sun is shining I'm really happy and I'm ready now to start my module one and module two um, which I've got booked in I've got a four hour bike training session on Tuesday this week. It's currently Sunday. So yeah, it's all happening. And that's all around like brick car and all the other crazy stuff that's happening at the moment. So yeah, full steam ahead. And hopefully I'll be on a bike um, of my own riding by sometime in May. So more news on that soon. Stay safe guys. And I will bring you more updates on the world's two wheels very soon. 